the perfect Eggs Benedict is achievable right in your own kitchen. Let me show you how. What's up everybody, it's James with JB Sous V and I'm so glad you're back. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about giving you high quality sous vide cooking content that you can do in your own home. If that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell as well so you get notified every time we drop a new video. This is the fourth video in our sous vide beginner series where I'm going through a bunch of cooks that'll be perfect for a beginner to start with. If you have missed those first couple videos, it's on our sous vide beginners playlist. This time we're moving into the brunch game with Eggs Benedict. Now I know what you're gonna say. No way Eggs Benedict can be for a beginner. Not so fast, my friend. With sous vide, the main components come together super simple. The only semi-challenging part is getting your timing down. But once you do, everything comes together so easy. You can batch cook the eggs and the hollandaise to make sure that you can serve a large party efficiently. All right, let's get right into it. A sous vide hollandaise. There's not a lot of steps to it and it's super simple. First thing we're gonna do is concentrate some shallot flavor into some vinegar. Then after that, we're just gonna add everything to one bag and cook sous vide. After it's done, really all that's left is to just put it into a blender and finish it off. One note here is I could not find shallots anywhere. <laughs> super weird. But in a pinch, you can use yellow onions. It's not gonna be the same, but it'll give you that same kind of uh, consistent flavor. We'll start our shallot reduction here with a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Then in with our pretend shallots, about a tablespoon. We'll turn on the heat and simmer this until it's about half. We'll go ahead and strain the liquid. Okay, let's bag our hollandaise ingredients. Eight tablespoons of unsalted butter, melted and cooled. Four large egg yolks. Burst them because you forgot. Your shallot reduction. A quarter cup of water. One tablespoon of lemon juice. A half teaspoon of salt. All right, time and temp for hollandaise. I will say, I chose the temperature based on my eggs. I chose what I wanted in an egg and made it work for my hollandaise. All right, we're gonna cook our hollandaise for at least an hour. I've seen some recipes go up to three hours. I can't really uh, comment on that. One hour usually works for me. One way to change up the flavor profile on your hollandaise is to mess with the different vinegars. Uh, a lot of people like the champagne vinegar kind of for a more uh, sweet taste. I like the apple cider vinegar, just my preference. Try out both of them. Speaking of egg temperature, the combinations for time and temp of eggs are vast. There are tons of channels out there that have done experiments where they go and they look at different temperatures, different times for eggs. Uh, I'm not gonna do that in this video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you my preference. You can see it at the end. If that's something that you like, continue with that. If you don't, Take a look at some of those other videos. See what you like. Um, the What I'm going for with my egg is a yolk that is custardy, kind of spreadable, and whites that are firm and set. For our eggs, we'll take as many as we want to cook and we're gonna put them in a bag. You could choose to just put them in the water bath without a bag, but I've broken a lot of eggs this way as they just collide into each other. We'll lower the eggs in. If you're having trouble like I am here, you can just scoop up some water in the bag to help them along. And now to the same bath, we're just gonna add our hollandaise. All right, now let's talk about all the other ingredients that make up your eggs benedict. This is where you're gonna gain a lot of efficiency uh, when you're getting ready for your brunch. We're gonna just prepare everything so that when your main ingredients are ready, you can go right to serving. Usually, there's some sort of meat. Today, I've got some deli ham and also some bacon. Now, I know some still like to pan fry their bacon, but I'm telling you, oven is the way to go. It's just such an even cook that you really can't beat it. We'll take a foil lined bacon sheet and we're gonna load it up with our bacon. Now, I'm gonna put this in a cold oven, not preheated. 
After that, I will turn on the heat to 400 degrees and just let it go. Depending on how thin my bacon is, I'll start checking around 15 minutes. Usually it takes about 20 to 22 to get the crisp I like, but you can just let it go for as long or as short as you want. Next, we need a toasted English muffin. Yes, has to be toasted. It's such another depth of flavor, and it also stands up to that hollandaise and to that egg. In a half sheet tray, I'm just gonna open up and lay out all my English muffins. I'm gonna go ahead and butter all the pieces. We'll take it over to a pan and we're gonna toast them. In a pan, we're gonna take half of our English muffins. We're gonna be over medium heat here. And for maximum coverage, I'll place something with a weight on top. We'll give them a check, and that's where I want them. We're going to keep toasting until all of them are done. We're now going to build our bennies halfway. On some, we're going to put our deli ham and bake into the others. You want to set up your ingredients so that they're balanced. You definitely don't want your egg to slide off when you put them down. After everything is set, I'm going to pop these in my oven on the keep warm function until I'm ready to plate it up. All right, now that we got everything ready, it's time to finish our hollandaise and crack some eggs. With my sous vide eggs here, I want to go straight from the bath to the spoon to the plate. Uh, that's just because I like the eggs to be custardy, and if you let them cool down to you know room temperature, they get a little bit more firm than the way I like them. So let's get to it. All right, now we need to blend our hollandaise. Great time to use an immersion blender. But no worries, if you don't have one, you could just use a regular blender. We'll add all the contents of the bag to a tall container. We'll start slowly pulsing, then go longer. Start moving the blender up the container until you've got a beautiful hollandaise sauce, like this. If you need it a little bit more pourable, you can add a couple drops of water to it. All right, now we bring it together. I'm going to crack my egg. I'll start peeling around its center. And then I'll make sure my spoon doesn't have any shells on it. And then I'll lay it onto a spoon. Any loose whites are going to fall away, leaving you with the rest. We're going to place it on our pre-done muffin and go on to the rest. All right, let's spoon over our hollandaise. Dang, look how glossy. Hit it with some chives. And now a yolk check. Mmm, look at that creamy yolk custard. All right, y'all, let's see how we did, even though you saw that beautiful yolk cut right there. Look at that. Delicious. Let's give it a taste. Wow, that was delicious. That hollandaise, perfect. Creamy. Uh, I like the apple cider vinegar with it. Um, a lot kind of better than all the other vinegars I've tried. Uh, that that yolk, nice jammy consistency. Again, that's what I like. You can go and research and look at all the other different egg temperatures there are, but this one's worked for me. It's worked kind of easy with the egg and the hollandaise together. Can't beat it. All right, if you got something out of that video, go hit that like down below. Hit that subscribe button and go watch some of the other videos we got on the channel for you. I'll catch you on the next one.